What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the adventure here at John Goes Off-Road. Today we've got a little episode here where we're going to be taking out Anthony on his first trail run where uh, he is a beginner of course. He's never been out on a uh, trail trail per se and he's never really taken his truck out since we've updated it here not too long ago. If you guys have questions in regards to how we got his truck to sit like that we do have a video on that. Uh, go back three videos I believe on my list or we're going to try and link it down below so you guys can take a look. But Right now, he's just updating uh, the um, preload here on his. Uh, it sits a little bit lower. It got to uh, basically uh, set on the uh, preload side, so it started to sag a little bit on the front end side. So he's just updating that, and then we should be dialed in. And from here on out, we're going to be heading out. So my truck's ready. It's dialed in. We're ready to go. Uh, today is more of a beginner-style trail, and that's going to be Lytle Creek. Lytle Creek is definitely the place where you want to get your feet wet. It's a very easy trail, more fire road style, but it also has uh, little dips here and there where your articulation will start to kind of do some work. So that's where we kind of want to get his feet wet in regards to that. And um, yeah, just really, really highly recommend doing that trail. So if you are looking at doing a trail on your own or something like that, so uh, that's definitely the place to start. So one of the things uh, we'll be going over here is what to kind of carry, what you should have. Um, you don't have to be fully built like this or like this to do this trail you can do it bone stock so again it's a very easy trail so i'm gonna go have fun in uh get your feet wet and then get bit by that snake and just start modding your truck out if you really want to some people don't some people do but i can almost guarantee you everybody that goes off-roading and then comes back wants to just go crazy online and start buying all the parts because you just had so much fun so that's what we're going to be doing here today anthony's dialed in i'm dialed in let's get to it We're at least the entrance side of the uh, actual trailhead. So right now, what uh, Anthony's gonna do is of course air down. Uh, you do wanna air down on most of these trails just because uh, you'll see little rocks like this that'll make for a really rough road. And if you've got kids or the misses or something like that out here for the first time, they probably won't like it um, because it's too rough. So airing down is something that's very essential, one for the comfort of your ride, then also um, being able to go through it you know, seamlessly, um, you know, on that side. So um, definitely highly recommend that. But again, sometimes you go out there and you don't really have anything to air back up with. So that's gonna be something that's very, very important. Um, so having something to air up with is, um, you know, something you may wanna buy. I know there's multiple compressors out there. Um, I'm not sponsored by anybody, but uh, a great starter one is a one-time when used kind of a style was from Harbor Freight. I owned one myself and it got me through the trails and as I saw that I kept going out and more and more and more, I ended up uh, purchasing an ARB single which airs up uh, uh, my uh, 35 tires. So Anthony right now is uh, doesn't have any type of air down system or air up system, um, but I'll be taking care of him in regards to that side. So right now what we're doing is dropping down his PSI on a trail like this. You might want to go to 18, 17. 16 uh, PSI or anything like that. So it's not really anything too crazy, but um, something you don't want to do if you don't have a compressor because then you got to hit the actual uh, pavement and that's going to be a bad day because then you got to drive really slow. There might be traffic. So multiple things that might come up and something you got to take into consideration. So yeah, uh, we're going to get this guy down to the right PSI and get him on the trail for the first time. So 
So one thing that's very important is uh, I know a lot of us uh, like to enjoy the views when we're out here and uh, we're looking at the mountains, we're looking at the bushes, we're looking at everything here that's around us or maybe sometimes you got someone that's in front of you and you're watching them as well. But one thing that's very, I think is very important is also watching how the terrain changes and if there's holes or anything like that and uh, the articulation of the truck. So is the truck shifting up and down? Is it going, you know, is it off camber or things like that? And I know this vocabulary might sound very weird, but um, it's basically just uh, describing how your truck is shifting depending on the terrain. So uh, you'll see holes, big rocks that you'll have to dodge. And sometimes when you're dodging certain things, your truck will start to move around in different ways. So that's something that's very, very important to look out for and uh, make sure that you are, um, you know, paying attention to that. So uh, as long as you're enjoying the views and also uh, taking care of yourself, that's very, very important. What's pretty cool is that sometimes uh, this is a pretty busy trail and you'll see uh, a few people out here. So uh, first Tacoma that we see out here, and of course it has to be a Tacoma. So yeah, just enjoy from here, but also pay attention at all times. Honestly, I'm generally having so much fun. It's been a while where it feels like it's always been a while and uh, It's it's also like really cool showing someone um, You know how to off-road one two um, You know just the small little pointers here and there that someone might be able to use in order to kind of have a better time out here when off-roading so uh, Anthony's been having fun. We've been just laughing it up and and just you know He's been talking to me about how he feels on the trail and stuff and it's just so so surreal So Anthony's going through the, the trail, the trail, and I'm kind of guiding him behind this camera so you guys can see, you know, small little obstacles and stuff. Uh, you gotta kind of want to know what you're doing. Yeah, just keep it like that, bro. Then start turning a little right. Truck's gonna start reacting. And this is the fun part. Going over the rocks, nothing crazy. Anybody could have done this. Nothing really too wild. But that's what it's all about. Just having fun, getting out here, getting the truck dirty. You're good, you're good. Yeah. Yeah, keep trucking. There you go. Woo! Alrighty guys, as you guys just saw, the, the, definitely the terrain has changed a lot since the last time I've been up here. Um, there's more ruts, uh, a few more rocks and stuff. This is definitely the, it's an easy trail, no doubt, uh, but this is kind of like the harder part of the trail. There's different turnoffs where you can go. The one that leads straight up, which we aren't doing today, um, is a lot easier. Two wheel drive homies can do it, four wheel drive. So one thing that you guys just saw me do was actually stop really quick, go into four low so that I can go through that little rut that's right here. So um, that's what we're gonna be guiding Anthony through right now here in just a second. And uh, yeah, you guys are gonna see how his truck reacts and how, how he's enjoying 
you know, using his truck and just getting out here and having fun. A little bit harder. You're gonna go up on a rock that's straight now. So we got to the top of the mountain, or at least uh, as far as the trail can go on the little rougher side of Lattle Creek. And trucks did great. Tires performed well. We didn't get stuck anywhere. Um, of course, you don't want that. Uh, suspension worked well. Everything worked well. Anthony just pulled around. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of stuff here to do. Whether you want to camp anywhere in general, uh, it's a big camping area. Enough places for multiple people to be here. but. Uh, yeah, how'd you feel dude? How was it? She was tied, bro. Yeah, she was dialed? Yeah, it looks Hell good. yeah, that's what we're talking about and that's what we want to do. Uh, we put his truck to the test of course, not a big one, but he got his feet wet. He's liking it, he's digging it. He, we were out here taking photos, also taking videos, so we've had a lot of fun. So you guys can see mountains as, you, as far as you can see. And uh, one of the bigger places that we took a look at and I showed Anthony and he was all stoked about was this crazy view that view that we were talking about small little cliff one little camping spot right here that a lot of people tend to grab on the weekends just because you'll have this crazy view so definitely a great place to be Lytle Creek very very close to a lot of Southern Californians not really that long of a trail so it's not a big hike and not only is there places to camp here but there's like places on the other side of the trail and like I said there's a bunch of turnoffs this is I guess the harder one to do but nothing really too crazy um, Anthony pulled through I know his trucks dialed in the same way mine is but uh, you don't really have to be that dialed in to be able to make it up here so just a little bit of, of you know maneuvering and you'll be doing fine so thank you guys so much for watching me and Anthony here uh, We've really appreciated it. Um, you guys have been showing us a lot of love here on YouTube and also Instagram. So if you're uh, wanting to see more, ah, I'm a little out of breath. Um, if you guys wanna see more, please feel free to comment. You know, anything you guys wanna know about. We try and take your guys' comments as, you know, uh, things that we might wanna do in the future. So definitely comment down below, like the video. If you guys have liked it, we wanna push more of these out for you guys. We're also gonna start doing a lot of more stuff with Sunday Off-Road Crew, where we're gonna be bringing a few guys, a few of you guys out here, but we're not gonna be mentioning it too much on this side, but more on the Instagram side. So if you haven't followed it already, go follow John Goes Off-Road, Tony Films, and or Sunday Off-Road Crew. So thank you guys so much again. Welcome, and every time, ah. <laughs> I had it. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Stay tuned for the next adventure here on the John Goes Off-Road channel and also Sunday Off-Road Crew.